In this problem, we're told that the manufacturer of a weight training bench spends $15 to build each bench and sells them for $32. The manufacturer also has fixed costs each month, each month of $25,500. There's a lot going on in this problem, so I, I tried to spread it out as much as possible and leave room for everything. <clears throat> we're first asked to find the cost function C when X benches are manufactured. So we're already given C of X where X is the number of benches manufactured. We're told that the manufacturer spends $15 to build each bench and sells them for $32 each and that the fixed cost each month for the manufacturer are $25,500. So C of X equals cost per bench times the number of benches manufactured plus fixed costs. So now we just need to plug in our given information. <clears throat> so C of X equals, we're told the cost per bench is $15. So 15 times the number of benches. That's defined in the, the actual question of the problem. Find the cost function C when X benches. So the number of benches is X plus our fixed costs, which is $25,500. So there's our cost function. With a revenue function, Again, defined as R of X, we're looking at the selling price per bench, again times the number of benches. So our selling price, we're given in the problem, is $32. So R of X equals selling price per bench, which is 32, times the number of benches, which is defined in the problem as X. So 32X. Now in part C, we're asked to show the break-even point by graphing both the revenue and cost functions on the same grid. Now I would caution against using this a as uh, a way to solve because there's always human error involved. Uh, we may not get the exact point, it's more just to check and make sure that what we find in part D is reasonable. You know, when we find the actual break-even point. That said, if we graph our cost function, we're looking at uh, a y-intercept of 25,500 because our cost function is c of x equals 15x plus 25,500. So if this is 25,000, 25,500 is right about here. And if we look at checking specific points at, let's say, 1,000, that would be 25,500 plus 15 times 1,000 or 15,000. And that's going to be at 40,500. So if I go to 40,500, so here's 40,000. Go over to 1,000, up to 40,500. I'm right about here. And then let's try at 20 or at 2,000. So 15 times 2,000 plus 25,500. And we're off of the graph at that point, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it back to, let's say, 1,500 benches. So 15 times 1,500 plus the initial cost, or the fixed cost of 25,500. So 1,500, I'm looking at 48,000. So here's 1,500. I go up to 48,000. That's going to be right about here. And then we simply connect the dots to get our cost function graphed. So there's our cost function. So that's C of X. I'll go ahead and use a different color for our revenue function, R of X. Now in this case, we're just looking at 32X. So at 1,000, we're going to be at 32,000. So if this is 35, this is 32, 5. So at 1,000, we're going to be at 32,000, which would be right about here. Uh, let's say we're at 500, so 32 times 500 is going to be 16,000. So 500 will bring this down to 16,000. So 500 go up to 16,000, which is right about here. And we also know it's going to cross the origin. And then just connecting our dots. There's our revenue function. And tentatively speaking, it looks like we're, we're intersecting our revenue function and cost function at about 1,500 units 
So it would be 1,548,000. Now in part D, we're asked to find the actual break-even point. Well, what does break-even point mean? That means when the revenue equals the cost. So we're looking at, we want to know, when does C of X equal R of X? When does cost equal revenue? So we just simply set these equal to one another. I'm going to go ahead and switch it around since 32 is greater than 15. So I guess this would be better put as R of X equals C of X. And now we substitute 32X equals 15X plus 25,500. If we subtract 15x from both sides, we get 17x equals 25,500. And dividing both sides by 20 or by 17x, we get 25,500 divided by 17, which equals 1,500. Now, if we put x equals 1,500 into either of these equations, we should get, we already know we get it, we get 48,000 for c of x, so let's check with r of x. So r of 1,500 equals 32 times 1,500, which equals, hopefully, 48,000. And it does equal 48,000. So what this means is that when they sell 1,500 benches, the cost and revenue are both 48,000 dollars. So basically they have to sell 1,500 benches just to break even.